When you start to facilitate these high-end customers, you want to make sure that they're really happy with everything that's going on. So enter our earthquake, which uh, we lost our entire building and leveled our entire studio. We we're sitting around thinking, well, if the guys in the States figure this all out, we're probably done. So about 24 hours after we had the big one, I got on a plane and, and flew off to the States to talk to all of our customers and, and send them the message that we're okay, you know, Kiwi guys, and tough, we're handling it, it's just a little 7.0. Despite the fact that we'd had our little earthquake, we managed to uh, make the facade that we were all still completely okay. From that trip, I came home with twice as much business as what I'd gone away to try and protect. That was a little tricky because we didn't have offices. We, uh, it was a bit of a rush actually. We had guys setting up in their homes um, three days later trying to deliver products for deadlines that were four or five days later with no computers. Like most companies in New Zealand that service the world, in New Zealand not so well known because we keep our heads down and we keep our butts up so to speak and we keep working hard. But, uh, but we, we've started to build that brand of excellence that's out there and, and uh, the customer base is really starting to, to show that that's the case I think.